Sorry, guys, I cut off. Uh, I got cut off right there. This is uh, part two of Lindy um, Ortega's exposed video. Um, so we saw the Faded Gloryville album here. Again, the red roses, the black symbolism, and the white as well. You got the Lindy Ortega and white and all of these pentagrams, which you already know what they mean. Um, the next album is called Liberty, which is this CD. Uh, Liberty. I copy pasted it because, again, there's no album cover here. Is Super Blasphemous. We got the white horse, the red hat. We got the six, six, six right here. Three sixes. As you can see, the spiral here, spiral here, and spiral there. And what I found very blasphemous about this is she's putting herself basically in the place of Jesus Christ. We know that Jesus Christ comes on a white horse riding in um, Revelation 19. Let's actually turn there right now and read it together. Um, Revelation 19 verses 11 to yeah, all the way to the end, right? And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he that judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and his head were many crowns, and he, that had, uh, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed and fine linen, white and clean, and out of his mouth go a sharp sword. That with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he dreaded the winepress uh, of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, that ye may eat the flesh of kings, and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them, and I received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake, Fire burning with brimstone. Yep, hail is real. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth. And all the faults were filled with their flesh. So she's putting herself in a place of our Lord and Savior here. As we know, Satan loves to mock and he's counterfeit. He always counterfeits. This is the piano songbook of the same album, I guess... The songs from the album and as you can see she's writing here as well you got you got the desert right you got the whole desert you know satan always tempts in the desert right just like he tempted jesus christ and she's riding on a horse away so this is all blasphemous trash from a pits of hell and if you have any of this trash in your house just burn it man you don't need any of this garbage in your life burn these records burn this music all you need is Jesus Christ. And if you are listening to this video right now, you're watching this and you're listening to this and you're thinking to yourself, and you're thinking to yourself, um, you know, wow, you see all this evidence and you're not saved. Don't shun it. Don't shun it. Think about it. You know, think about like, why would these people want to entertain you this is not entertainment it's all indoctrination all of it is and the devil just wants you deceived the devil just wants you to give in her flesh and buy these cds and go to the concerts and worship these false idols but i got something better for you something that could save your life and that is the gospel of jesus christ let's turn together to first corinthians chapter 15 and we're going to end this video with the gospel if we go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, we got the gospel of Jesus Christ. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received and written, wherein you stand, by which also you are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain, for I delivered unto you first of that which I also received, how Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. If we turn to Romans 10, just a little bit, just a little back, go a little bit back here. In Romans 10 and we read 
verses 9 to 13, Paul tells us how to be saved. He says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God to raise them from dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, with a mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed, for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Um, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's all that it takes. You believe with your heart and you, you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Today is the day of salvation. If you're not saved, I pray that you do get saved. Call out to the Lord Jesus Christ with a humble heart. Say, Lord, please create a clean heart in me and forgive me of my sins. I believe that you died for me and that you rose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's all that it takes. Repent and turn from your sins and walk in newness of life. Also, Paul tells us that we will be changed. Once we get saved, it's a changed life, my friend. It's a changed life. You turn for 180 degrees. That's how you turn. You become a new person. Paul said in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. He'll give you a clean heart, a new heart. You will have new desires to follow Him and to live your life for Him. Don't buy into the lie that Lindy Ortega is trying to sell you, that you are not good to be saved. They all say that. We're not good to be saved. Oh, how can I be saved? I'm so depraved. It doesn't matter what your testimony is. It doesn't matter if you, you know, where you come from. If you were saved out of drug abuse um, and drunkenness like I have, or if you, you know, you were a Satanist or um, you were an atheist or whatever you did in your life, it doesn't matter. God will and can forgive you all of your sins. And He will. He's faithful and just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So call on Him today. Humble, your, humble yourselves in front of the Lord and call on His name. Um, and to those that enjoy the videos and, you know, that enjoy the content and those of my brothers and sisters in Christ, I thank you for your constant prayers. Um, we are doing well. The Lord has been good to us. He's been providing. And uh, please just continue praying for us. Um, we got a lot of stuff going on in our lives and things are, but the Lord is good and things are getting better and better. So just please keep us in your prayers. We continue praying for you guys. Thank you for all the nice comments. Thank you for all the nice emails. And um, we appreciate all of you. Um, God bless you all. And uh, keep your eyes on the notification. We will stream on Sunday. Um, Disney, the Magic Kingdom or the Kingdom of God. We will uh, stream that on Sunday, um, Lord willing. And I might upload another uh, exposure video. I got some more exposures on some bands coming up these days, either tomorrow or the day after. We'll see. So keep your eyes on your notifications. Once more, thank you all. Have a blessed um, Thursday evening. Have a blessed day. God bless you. Love you all. Peace.